Hi, I'm James Moody. I'm the team lead of the reports component in Rational Team Concert. So although Team Concert ships with a library of more than 50 out-of-the-box reports, uh, we're pretty sure that you'll think of some new ones of your own. So using the BERT Report Designer, you can create your own reports and then deploy them to your Jazz Team server. So today I'm going to walk you end-to-end -end through the process of creating one of these reports and deploying it to the server. To begin with, I've loaded my Team Concert client. You can see I'm connected to a repository. Uh, I'm going to use this later. Uh, this will be where we deploy and view the report. This is actually our production server on jazz.net. I've also pre-installed BERT and all of its prerequisites and we'll use BERT for the report design. So to begin with, I'm going to create a new project called Reports. And then I'll create a report in this project. And we'll call this report Open Work Items. And we'll open it in the BERT editor. So first of all, I need some data. So let's create a new data source. We'll make a jazz data source called work items. The jazz data source is a special kind of data source that knows how to get information out of our data warehouse. So then you need to select a repository and a project area. Now note that we do need this information at design time to be able to introspect on the snapshots and to preview data, but this does not restrict your report to being deployed only to this repository or project area. These are strictly design time settings. So now we need a snapshot to get data from. We'll get some from the work item snapshot. Now that we have a data source, let's create a data set. We'll call this open work items. Notice I've selected my data source here. Now we'll select the work item states table. In terms of the columns I need, I'd like to have the uh, timestamp because what I'm going to do is plot the number of open work items over time. So to do that, I need timestamp. Uh, I will also need the count of the number of work items. Now I only want to have the open work items, so in order to do that I'm going to have to pass in the state group as a parameter just to tell the data set that I only want the open ones. So for state group, I'm going to pass in a default value that indicates that I only want the open and in-progress work items as opposed to the closed ones. And now I'm done with my data set. So now that I'm done with the data set and I don't need any report parameters, let's go to the palette and create a chart. The first step in creating a chart is to select the type of chart you want. Today we'll have a line chart. Then we get to select our data. Uh, we're going to use the data set that we just defined. And there it'll give you some data to preview. Uh, we'd like to have the time along the x-axis, so we can just drag and drop that. And we'd like the work item count, or the number of work items, on the y-axis. So we'll just drag and drop that. As well, we're just going to go and specify sorting here so that all the dates get sorted in ascending order. And now we'll go and format the chart. So first things first, we're going to go to the x-axis settings and deselect the checkbox is category axis. Category axes are those that have discrete values and uh, time doesn't fall into that group. So let's deselect that because we want a continuous time-based report. Let's change the title. Open work items. We'll go to legend and hide that because we only have one line series so we don't really need to see that. As well, let's go to the value series. Go to the markers and hide them because we don't need to see those big boxes. There, that's a much more reasonable looking line. Now we're done with that. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. Now finally, let's just go to our master page and delete this uh, date stamp. And I'll save that. That's it. We're done with the report. Now we get to deploy it. So to do that, I'm going to go to the Team Artifacts view. I'm going to create a new report template. I'm going to browse for my RPT design file that Bert created. I have to select a team area to associate it with. Notice you have to do that even though you're not sharing it. It still needs a team area to associate it with so that it can follow the process rules. But I'm going to keep this as a private one. It does support data caching because it's using information out of the data warehouse. And if I were associating some properties files or graphics files with this report, I would attach them here, but I'm not. So let's deploy that. And let's go find it. There's open work items. Now I have the report template. Let's actually create a report from that template. And I'll put that into my reports folder.
And now let's view it. There it is. There's a plot of the open work items over time, about uh, a little over two years worth of data. So I'll post these report artifacts on our wiki so you can download them for yourself. Uh, thanks so much for watching.